Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. This is our first class on Java programming. In this class, we are going to show you how to create, save and run a Java programming in Eclipse IDE. We are going to use this Eclipse IDE to run the Java programs in our rest of the entire Java programming playlist. Not only in Java programming, we are going to use the same IDE in our full stack web development using Java. So this IDE is going to help you a lot in our next coming classes and in the rest of the web development also. Coming to today's class, after installing the Eclipse IDE, this is the icon which is shown on your shortcut on your desktop. Click on this ID, click on this icon. Once you click on this icon, it is going to open the Eclipse IDE. So this is how it will be shown after opening the Eclipse IDE. So different blocks are there. First block, second block, third block, bottom one block is there. What are these blocks you are going to understand here? We already created one project here. The project name is first project. Anyhow, we are going to create a new project now. In order to create a new project, go to File, New, Java Project. So here you, you can give the naming as a second project. And here it is going to ask you use a project specific JRE or use default JRE JDK 19. So when, when we are installing the Eclipse IDE, before installing the Eclipse IDE, we need to install J Java Development Kit. So JDK 19 we have installed. The default location will be used in order to develop the Java programs. So click on this, use default JRE JDK 19 and workspace compiler preferences. Then go to finish. So it is going to create a new project here, second project. So in this JRE system library, we are not going to explain it what's JRE system library here. We, we will explain it later on. Now coming to the SRC, this is a SRC means source file. This is where we are creating our Java programs. So once you created the Java program, if you want to create a new Java programming file, so click on this SRC, right click on the SRC, new class file. We are going to create a new class file. Here it is going to ask you a few things, the name of the class file. We are showing it as second program. And keep it as public. Which method stubs would you like to create? By default, you go with the public static void main of. What are these public static void main of? We are going to understand in our coming classes. As of now, remember you go with public static void main of a string of arcs. F click on finish. Now a new Java program has been created and this Java programming file name is second program dot Java. See one thing you have to remember in Java, the file name is second program dot Java, same as class name. Class name is second program. These two names should be same. Otherwise it won't work second program dot java this is the file name the same file name is given as a class names second programmer what is this class and what is this public static void main of strings of arcs of we are going to understand in our coming classes now we are going to understand if you want to write a program you have to start writing from here in the public static void main of method so we are we are just displaying hello world system dot out dot print ln of use the quotations double quotes hello world and in the end you should have a semicolon then it is going to display an output of hello world so we we, we created we we have written a statement system dot out dot print ln of hello world hello world is going to be displayed on your screen here the output screen is given as in the bottom console. 
the output will be displayed here and the mistakes also displayed here in uh, in the console so how to execute this program what is this system dot out dot print and we will understand in our next classes okay if you want to execute this program click on right click on this program then you can go with the run as java application this is one way or this shortcut will be available on the top of here here it is available if you click on this run second program.java yes click on it see hello world is displayed here output will be displayed here if you if you miss the semicolon and if you run this program see the errors will be shown here on the console uh, on the console screen we it is going to show the both the mistakes and the output output will be shown on the console so keep the semicolon and run the program our output will be hello world so if, if you want to save this program it will be saved as click as so file save so where these programs will be stored so these programs all these programs will be stored in our uh, whenever you are installing the eclipse uh, it is going to ask you the default uh, folder you needed to say store your workspace workspace folder will be asked so wherever the location you have provided that location these all these programs java programming programs will be stored if you want to access if you want to copy those programs you, you go to your workspace and you can uh, copy the programs and you can share your programs from there so hope you understand how to create save and run a java programming in eclipse ide in our next classes we are going to uh, start our java classes hope you understand this example if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you